This whole losing streak has been blown way out of proportion, and it ends tonight. You see, unlike some so-called MVPs, talking to you, Jimmy Rollins, see you and your team, you're what I call a fluke. See, I might be in a little bit of a slump, but it took your city 25 years to win something. I'm better than you. I'm better than Chase Utley. I'm better than Ryan Howard. I'm better than the entire city of Philadelphia. And when I get the one win I need, that will make me something the Phillies will never be. And that's a dynasty. Now you can run and tell whoever you want that. Look at this. <laughs> MVP can't believe what he's seen. No I can't either. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can hold me. Nobody can control me. I'm coming. I'm here to do my thing. I'm here to bring the pain. I'm never ever gonna change. Like drop the cannon. Got the juice. All for the least. The yeah, MVP has been happening. A really rough past few weeks. Now they get scared when I Got call up a truth. I'm gonna run like Neil, cocky like Teal. No worries, welcome. NBC. NBC, I'm digging it. Most valuable Charlie's. It would never be a seat. I'm down with that. That's how you roll. That's how I roll, G. <laughs> Hey, it looks pretty good. Straight up bowling is NBC right there. Charlie Hoss continues. You know, he's, a, he's a slimy winner himself. Check it out on WWE.com. Best impersonation. But the odds of him winning were pretty good. So MVP says he's a win away from a dynasty. That might be a little bit of an overstatement. Perhaps. A little stretch, but MVP has been in a nasty slump. It's kind of like seeing a double here. MVP's been down this luck. He didn't get that big incentive bonus. Didn't have a win before the Survivor Series. I'll tell you what, MVC is doing MVP better than MVP is. Say that twice. Well, MVP taking exception to uh, most valuable Charlie's impersonation. And, oh, well, it's, it's well documented MVP, very arrogant, very aggressive. Always hot talking. Now I don't think uh, imitation is the biggest form of flattery for MVP. MVP looking for three. The highest paid athlete in the history of Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, there, there's Jimmy Rollins. We just saw uh, a member of the world champion Philadelphia Phillies. I'm a New York Met fan, so I'm not happy about that, but congratulations. To the Jimmy Rollins also the NL's most valuable player. That's right. That'll be the National League. Yes. Major League Baseball. Yes, I get it. The fall classic. So MVP looking for a submission from most valuable Charlie. Heard MVP last week on Friday Night SmackDown upset saying because he didn't get his incentive bonus. Oh, not able to go on the Halloween season right now, but buy his family and friends gifts. Uh, not the gifts, not to buy the gifts he wanted to buy. Say. Well, no pyro for MVP. His tunnel's been repossessed, I guess. Look at this. Balling, baby. Oh. The elbow finds its mark, and the referee doesn't find three. Well, no confidence problems for MVP, and it goes MVC. Most valuable Charlie landing gingerly. Here on the outside. And MVP desperate for that, that dynasty making victory. Rollins not impressed. I am. That's a pro hype. Oh, oh. I'm pretty impressed with that oh, move by Most Bible Charlie. Take your eyes off the prize that MVC gets MVP. How embarrassing would it be for MVP to lose here in this momentous night of Monday Night Raw in the city of brotherly love to Most Bible Charlie? on that oh. MVP got his uh, knees up in, in defense you need counter 
And maybe this will be the night for MVP. Well, MVP looks driven and focused to take out the impersonated known as NBC. And oh, God! Uh-oh. There's a roll on. Wait a minute. Lost up. Oh! And Rose Lambo Charlie wins it. Here is your winner. And the winner is the winner. Buster Lotto. Philadelphia Phillies, Jimmy Rollins and company. <laughs> MVP didn't back up his braggadocious ways here tonight. MVP still in this slump. It was a very extreme loss for MVP. And ladies and gentlemen, still a 